Welcome to Understanding Your Payslip, Lesson 1 of a short course on Financial Maths. If you're employed, you'll get a payslip similar to these. Most people understand that gross pay is the pay before deductions, it's the pay that is listed as your salary or your wages or your hourly rate. Net pay is what you actually receive in your bank account, which is after all the deductions. Some people aren't too sure about what the deductions mean, how they're calculated and whether they're correct. So by the end of this course, you'll be able to work out your own deductions, make sure they're correct and understand your pace. Most of us in this country pay our income tax through a system called PAYE, or pay as you earn. This system means that you pay your income tax every week or every month when you, when you receive your pay. It's calculated by your employer who sends it on to the government and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about paying a big tax bill at the end of the year either. It means that your payment of income tax is spread out over the year and um, you don't have the bother of putting in a tax return. In the UK we have a system called progressive taxation. That means that if you have a lower income, you pay a lower percentage of your income in tax. And if you have a higher income, you pay a higher percentage of your income. Your income is separated into the bands. Um, the lowest band at zero taxation is your tax-free income. After that, the next band of your income is taxed at 20% then 40%, then 45%, as this slide shows. Here's an example of how the bands work. Sally earns £30,000 a year. Her personal allowance is £12,500. So the first band will be from zero to 12,500 and she'll pay zero taxation on that because that's her tax-free earnings. The next band will be from 12,501 pounds to 30,000 pounds. So in other words, 17,499 pounds and that will be taxed at 20%, which will give her taxation for the year of 3,499 pounds and 80 pence. Um, now she won't pay that in one lump sum, it will be divided over the 12 months of the year. The next few slides have got some examples for you to try calculating yourself.
I used to work for the first few months of every year and then go travelling for the rest of the year and that meant I overpaid income tax because my income tax was calculated by PAYE um, on my projected earnings for the whole year and obviously I only worked part of it. So at the end of each tax year I would do a little income tax calculation and send it to the tax office and they would send me a refund. Nowadays that should be done automatically. So hopefully now you've got a better understanding of all the information on your payslip and you're able to calculate your income tax and your national insurance contributions for yourself. Now click on the link for this short quiz just to check what you've learned.